Oh well, folks, happy Tuesday. Welcome back. Got Emmy and Byron. Happy Imam Day. We're going to take you through our uh, five exercises for our Tuesday Imam. So it's the Tuesday format, so that means we go one through five. So that means as you rest today, which hopefully you're giving yourself a little rest time, you have to transition at the same time as you rest. You don't get to sit there. You gotta transition as you rest. <laughs> and then when the next minute begins, you begin the next exercise. All right. So these two are going to warm up. You do some stretches with them on your own. You can practice the movements with me. That's always a good idea. And then we'll take a, and then we'll take a little 15 break, uh, jumping jacks at the end, and then we'll start after that. The first exercise is going to be a transverse lunge. Now, these folks here have uh, all the weights they would like, so they're going to use a single dumbbell at home. You probably might have to use two if a single weight is not heavy enough, but a single one should be fine. The first one is a transverse lunge. So imagine you're standing forward. This is 12 o'clock. That's facing forward. I'll turn this way so you can see. So over here, 12 o'clock, my right foot's going to step back to 4 o'clock. Right? So 12 o'clock this way, right foot is going to go back over here to 4 o'clock. Lunge, wherever the leg stops, that's where you stop. You don't have to touch the floor, just lunge with the leg. This other foot stays facing where 12 o'clock was, you come back up to center. So right foot is going to go to 4 o'clock. Here, right? It is 4 to 6 per side. 4 to 6 per side. So I finish my reps here. I'll show you from this side here. Now the left leg is going to go to 8 o'clock. And this is my 12 o'clock. 8 o'clock is over here. Behind me, lean, lunge, come back. That's your first one, your transverse lunge. Now if that is a little bit too much movement for you and your knees, then you can just step forward and come back. Forward lunge. Four to six per leg. Number two, plank jack. So the jumping jack in a plank position, just the feet here. So leaning forward on your toes, open out. Jumping jacks here, keeping your hips low, keep yourself leaning forward. Don't hike your hips up like that. Lean forward, just the feet, move in and out. You gotta brace the core, otherwise you start to wiggle around too much. 15 to 20 with optional push-ups. So every now and then you may want to throw in a push-up, maybe toes, maybe knees. 15 to 20 reps with the jumping jacks. Let me show you how the how the count works. One, two, three, four. So 15 to 20 of those. You probably won't be able to do a push-up every rep because it's 15 to 20, but maybe every other, maybe every three or four, maybe just one at the end, one at the beginning. All right, so push-ups, optional there. 15 to 20 of those. You finish all the reps for that. You get the rest of that minute to rest. When the next minute begins, you begin the next one. Number three, your V-ups. So imagine, again, I'll use a clock analogy here. So imagine right here, this is nine and three, straight line, nine and three. I'm not coming up all the way to 12 and 12. I'm coming with my legs here, 10 o'clock, and my torso, 2 o'clock, so 10 and 2. Come up, 10 and 2, come back down. Right? Everything comes up evenly. If your legs come up too soon, then you can't bring your chest up enough. If you bring your torso up too soon, your legs can't come up enough. Right? So everything comes up evenly. Like a sit-up with the legs. If you want to make this easier, bend the knees as you come up. So bend the knees like that. Right? Otherwise, straight legs makes it more challenging. You can also add the weight. Bring it back, and then come up. Right now, slowly. Right, so V-ups, five to 10. With the weight and the straight legs, maybe just barely five. As you start to make it easier, maybe you can approach 10. You can also just do regular sit-ups too, if you don't want to do the legs at all. That's number three. Number four, we have a sprinter hop or sprinter lunges. So, let me show you the position here. So, normally we lunge down the back knee, it comes down this time, the back knee's gonna stay straight. We're gonna lean forward, again about 10 o'clock. So this is 12, 11, about 10 o'clock here, belly resting on our thighs, leaning forward a little bit. Fingertips here, I'm touching the ground, right, on either side of the feet, like that. And from here, we're just going to push with this leg, push with this foot, and we're going to hop up just about an inch or two. Straight up. Hop, 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 hop. Your entire body hops up, right? Keeping yourself leaning forward. Five to ten per leg of that. If that's too challenging here, what we'll do instead, you can even use the dumbbell for this one, is step back and do your sprinter lunges. That was a sprinter hop, sprinter lunges. Step back, back leg straight, lean forward. That ten o'clock, belly tapping onto your thigh, and push forward, squeeze the glute. Step back, back knee straight, lean forward. As we come up, squeeze the glute as you push forward. Five to eight per side. Right? Either the hop or the lunge. That's number four. Number five is an overhead push pull. So let me show you what it looks like, then I'll explain it. All right. So it looks kind of like I'm just pressing it up and down. But what I'm going to think about, think about a wall here, a ceiling here, not all the way up here, right here above the head, and then another ceiling, another uh, floor here, right? another wall here, right at the neck level. You're going to sort of bounce the dumbbell between these two imaginary walls, right? Brace your core, and as you bounce it between these two walls, not going that high, not going that low, just right here, from here to here, neck level to right above the head. I'm bouncing it between these two imaginary walls, and I'm bouncing and pushing and pulling so fast that I, my body starts to bounce up and down a little bit. I brace my core, my body starts to bounce up and down a little bit. 15 to 20 of those, right? So I'm not just pressing it up and down, I'm bouncing it between these two imaginary walls, right? That's number five, your overhead push pull. 15 to 20 of those. Folks here, how we feel? Good, good. Knees good? 
Yeah. yeah. Good. All right. These two, they're going to finish up whatever stretches they want to do. Just like you, finish up the stretches you're doing. And then when you're ready, give me 15 jumping jacks, and then we'll get started after that. All right. All right, all right. Fantastic. So, Imam, so what that means is you got your reps. You can go for time, of course, as always with Imam. But count your reps. It's going to be a little bit easier. If you go for time, you can also just pick a number for yourself if you don't, want to, if you don't like the rep range. There's a little wiggle room, so you don't have to get exactly in that rep range. Alright, alright. Now again, if you need to, rewind, watch that again, fast forward, preview some of the exercises again, up to you. But once you're ready, finish your jumping jacks, set yourself up, transverse lunges here. Four to six per leg, right foot goes back to four o'clock, left foot goes back to eight o'clock, you can alternate if you have the room. Here we go, starting in five, four, three, two, one, and... Again, again, I'll show you the other version here. You can just do a regular forward lunge, 12 and 12. Is that forward? 12 o'clock, just a regular forward lunge, stepping forward, coming back. It's four to six per leg, four to six per leg. And with the forward lunge, it's not gonna take quite as long as over here, the transverse lunge, so maybe six, maybe even more. The transverse lunge, it's a lot of movement. It's a pretty far, big sweeping lunge. Four to six per leg should be pretty good. We have 34 seconds left. Good. The front foot stays flat for the most part and pointed towards 12 o'clock for the most part, the whole time. The other foot points towards that number, the 8 or the 4. 22 seconds left, so hopefully wrapping up here kind of soon. Plank jacks coming up next. Remember, we want to give ourselves some rest time. We don't want to go all the way to that minute. We have 13 seconds left. That does not mean you keep going for 13 seconds. That means in the 13 seconds, we begin the next one. In 8 seconds, we begin the next one. Plank jacks, 15 to 20. So just like that, you can lean forward, push a position. Plank jacks in three, two, one. Once again, plank jacks here. 15 to 20, 15 to 20. Count your reps, count out loud, make sure you keep track of them. To the modify this one, you just go slower. If you can't jump out of your feet quite that fast, then just go slow. You won't get 15 to 20, but go for time. Go for about 40, 45 seconds instead. And step out, you can step it out instead. If you need to, just hold the position, and let's say that's challenging enough, fish. So just, just holding a push-up position, you can focus on that. 35 seconds. Take little breaks if you need to. When you're ready to go back into it, I'm going to get 15. Good, get 15. That's fast. Good, oh, good, that's good. Let's try to get over with it. Yeah, that's good, that's good. All right, so she, she sped it up a little bit. She went faster, but now she gets more rest time. V ups next. Now you get to lie down. Let's lie down. Relax, lie down. A dumbbell there optional if you want to leave it for the first couple. Five to ten V ups. All right, how much you get? 20? 20. Do a couple push ups in there? Yeah. Very nice. Here we go. 13 seconds. This is what happens when you finish early. When you get all your reps in, you get your rest. Nine seconds. Do a little nap. V ups coming up. Remember. Torso comes up, it's about 10 and 2, right? So everything comes up, not all the way up, but about 10 and 2, right? 3, 2, 1, and let's begin. Exactly, about 10 and 2. Torso coming up about 2 o'clock, legs coming up about 10 o'clock, right? As you lie down, lie down slowly. Now, to make this easier, you can bend the knees. You don't have to keep the legs straight. You can bend the knees as you come up. Bend the knees as you come up. That makes it a little bit easier. It's 5 to 10, 5 to 10 reps. You can add a dumbbell, you can keep the legs straight. You can mod, you can change, have any type of variation between that. You can start with the knees bent, or start with the legs straight, then go to bent knees. You can start with a dumbbell with straight legs, and then drop the dumbbell down, keep the straight legs, and then drop to no dumbbell, and then bent knees. So you can combine and mix and match a little bit. But it's five to 10 reps, five to 10 reps. 24 seconds left, so give yourself a little rest time here. Wrap it up kind of soon, five to 10, and then give it for your sprinter hops or sprinter lunges. 18 seconds. Good, nice, man. Very nice. Sprint your lunges, folks. Here we go. So these two are going to do the hop version to start with. They may change it later on, but the hop version, lean forward about 10 o'clock, belly resting on your thigh, tap your fingertips down, and jump straight up about it. Just an inch or so. Here we go. Three, two, one, and let's begin. Back knee is straight. Back knee is straight the whole time. Back knee is straight the whole time. Don't bend the back knee. Five, or, yeah, five to eight. Five to eight. Keep that back knee straight from the knee. Here we go. Hop straight up. Yep, just an inch or so. Yep, just like that. Just a couple inches there. Hop straight up. Good, exactly, exactly. Leaning forward, don't round down, just lean forward. Five to eight. I'll show you at home the option here. Five to eight per side. Five to eight per side. Five to eight per side. Now another version here, you can just do a regular sprinter lunge. You get your weight here, you're gonna step back, back knee straight, just like these two, lean forward, just like these two, and then push forward. So we think right? Hips back, lean forward, belly resting on your thigh, back knee straight, push forward. Good timing, good timing. 21 seconds. Final one coming up. How many get? Eight, pull them out. Very nice, excellent. All right, overhead push pull. Imagine there's a wall here, there's a wall here. You're bouncing the dumbbell between the two walls. You're not pressing it up and down, you're bouncing it between the two walls. 15 to 20. Flex your core here. Here we go. Five, four, three, two, one, and bounce, 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 bounce. bounce. One, two, three, four, five, six, 
15 to 20. Now, as you're bouncing between the two walls, your body naturally moves, right? So you're not just jumping up and down. Your body naturally will bounce up and down as you're bouncing your arms, as you're bouncing the dumbbells. A wall here, a wall here. 15 to 20. Woo! 15 to 20. So that's your core. 15 to 20. Push a little bit. 20. 20. Good, good. Okay, keep going then. Keep going then. That's the word. Keep going then. Yeah, yeah. Keep going then. Oh, yeah. That's the abs. You don't actually have to jump the feet, just bounce. As <laughs> said, you can jump. The, feet, the, feet, the body just bounces naturally as you bounce the weights up and down. Imagine a wall here, imagine a wall here, bouncing between the two balls. Exactly. 18 seconds. So the rest good. Good timing. Exactly. Bounce, bounce, bounce. Exactly. Exactly. That was good. There you go. That's round one. You got 10 seconds left. So if you're still going, keep going. But we got 30 second breaks between the rounds. All right, round one is finishing up in four, three, two, one. And round one is done. We have a 30 second break. We have five total rounds as usual. All right. Ooh. I love it. Black, red, and yellow. It's the yeah. <laughs> University of Maryland colors. All right, folks. 10 seconds. Let's go back to that first exercise our lunges, our transverse lunges. Remember, right foot to four. Left foot to 8 o'clock. Here we go. Or both feet straight forward, 12 o'clock. 3, 2, 1, and let's begin. Good. Exactly. Exactly. So you can see. When you step back, folks, so the right foot goes to 4 o'clock, the left foot goes to 8 o'clock, 4 o'clock and 8 o'clock are behind you. If, if you're facing forward, it's 12 o'clock. 4 o'clock is behind you. 8 o'clock is behind you. So make sure you're facing behind you. All right? Now, another option. Uh, you have that. First option I gave you, just go straight ahead, forward. Like that, forward, straight ahead. Another option, you don't have to go, if you're doing this version, you can't quite make it all the way to 4 and 8, you can make it to 3 and 9, you don't have to go all the way back that far, right? You can make it to 3 and 9 if you want to, so shorten it a little bit. 23 seconds left, wrap it up kind of soon, it's 4 to 6 per side, wrap it up kind of soon. You get the plank jacks coming up, so you just get to lie down, plank position here. Good, good, good. Nice, these two are pushing up, good. Good, make sure that front foot, the foot you step with, stays flat. Eight seconds, good. Okay, push it, yeah, push it. Plank jacks, I'm gonna need you to do again. Six. Good, good. Plank jacks here in three, two, one, and again, plank jacks here, plank jacks. 15 to 20. I mean, last time you got 15, give me uh, 17 this time. Add a couple, we'll add a couple. 17 this time. You can go 20 if you want to. If 17, if that number bothers you, if that's, a, if that's an odd number, you can go to 20 if you want to. You don't like odd numbers. 44 seconds left. Good. Over here, just throwing in a push up every now and then. It's 15 to 20, 15 to 20. We'll be able to do a push-up every single time, unless they're really good, really fast, because it's 15 to 20, that's a lot of push-ups. But maybe, maybe a push-up every three reps, or every four reps, or maybe one at the end, one at the beginning. 28 seconds, good, Seventeen. 17, good, good, you didn't want to go to 20, 17 was fine, they're not bothering about you guys. It doesn't bother you, stop being at 17, it doesn't bother you. 20 seconds, we have the B-ups next, you gotta lie down, lie down, B-ups, 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 Alright, we have some 5 to 10, we got 10 over here last time, we got, I think we got 6 last time. Let's try to do the same thing, maybe maybe a little bit more, maybe add one more, if you want to. Here we go, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and let's begin. Yeah, good. So everything comes up evenly, if your torso comes up too soon, and then your legs can't come up enough. If your legs come up too soon, you notice your torso can't come up, so everything has to come up evenly. It has to lie down evenly as well. We want everything to come up evenly and everything to come down evenly. So at the top, 10 and 2, 10 and 2, 10 and 2, 10 o'clock, 2 o'clock. Take a big V. Again, options. You can bend the knees. You don't have to keep the knees straight. Bend the knees. You, bend, you don't have to use the dumbbell. That's optional. It's 5 to 10 reps. To make this more challenging, have the knees straight, legs straight, with the dumbbell there. 29 seconds. You can also hold a hollow hold when you come down. So don't completely lie down. You can completely lie down. Or you can lie down, keep your shoulders up, and keep your feet up. So you have a hollow, hollow hold there. Lower back down. 19 seconds left. Good. Sprinter hops or lunges coming up. Cool. I got uh, 10 again? Yeah. Very nice, good. I mean, was it six? Good, very nice. Sprinter lunges here. Sprinter lunges or sprinter hop? These two are going to show you the hops, I'll show you the lunges. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and let's begin. So, wait, you can do two weights if you want to. If one's not enough, you're going to step back. Back foot is straight. Back knee is straight, just like, just like these two, not bending down. Back knee is straight. You're leaning forward, 10 o'clock, belly resting on your thigh, and then you push forward. Back knee still stays straight, you push forward, squeeze the glute as you push forward, all right, and then back. All right, it is five to eight per side, five to eight. If you're doing the hop, maybe just five per side, maybe even just four. If you're doing the lunges, maybe get close to eight, especially depending on how much weight you're using. Keep that back knee straight, good. Seven, very nice, look at that. Look at that, Byron, eight, eight. Nice, good. 
overhead push pull. Look at all, all this extra rest time they have. A little too much time, which we'll change that in a little bit. But <laughs> the final movement here, you're starting at 20 going. seconds. Overhead push pull, 15 to 20. We got a 30 second break afterwards. Anyway, it's the second time we're doing it, so we know what's going on. So maybe, uh, maybe 20. Maybe 20. Byron got 20 last time. 20. Maybe 22 as well. Maybe. 20 as well. Here we go. Eight, seven, six, five. I check in here. Four, three, two. One and overhead push pull. Let's begin, Phil. So flex the abs. Keep the weight close to you. Again, imagine two walls. The ceiling right here, right above the head. There's a wall right here at your neck level. You're balancing the dumbbell in between. You're not pushing it up and down. Right? You're not just doing an overhead press. You're balancing it between the two walls. It bounces, bounces between the two walls. As you're bouncing it really fast with your arms, flex your abs. Your body starts to bounce up and down. The momentum will carry you. All right? If you need to soften, just let it bounce. Okay. Yeah. Fight, fight. I did 30. Oh, very nice. Okay. Nice. Yeah, it's a good one. And the weight's heavy too, so that makes a difference. Now you're 10. Now you're 10. Now you're 10. Now you're 10. 23 seconds. Good, good. Now you're 10. Now this is 1, 2, 3. Yeah. Increase your range of motion. No. Make the bounce the walls with the budget. Yeah, that's good. I did 10 pounds. I did 10 pounds. I love it because your whole body is working. Or everything has to be good. All right. Three, two, one, and time. Very nice. So 30 second break. Round two is done, folks. We got three more rounds, and then we're done. Third round here, we can add one more than we got last time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. All right, fantastic. If your weights are good, then you're good. Yeah, if you want to grab some amps, then you can. Now's the time for that. Folks at home, we have 15 seconds to go into the first exercise, our lunges again. This time, maybe one more than we got last time. We're feeling good. Nine seconds here. Four to six per leg. Let's see if you can get one more than you got last time. All right. So it helps to pick a number, pick a number. Here we go. Three, two, one, and it's again. It helps to pick a number. Otherwise, you just go into your tired. You're going to end up stopping too soon. So pick a number. It helps. Choose a number in your mind. Choose a goal, and then go. These two, even on one side, they may alternate sides. Up to you. Up to you. He's alternating sides. That's up to you. Depending on how much space you have. If it's easier to stick on one side until you finish your reps, that's cool. If that's easier to stay coordinated, but make sure you're keeping it even. Don't do three and five. Keep everything even. We have 38 seconds left. Four to six per leg. Per leg. Again, an option. You can just, if that's a lot of movement, that is a lot of movement. If that's too much for your knees, just go forward and back. Forward and back. Forward and back. Or even just a re regular reverse lunge. If this is the only lunge that your knees are comfortable with, and by now, you're going to these a lot, you should know. And just do the 20 seconds. Really, these two are cutting close. I like it. They're cutting close. Good. 15. Some exercises you cut it kind of close. Other ones you have more rest time. There's a little bit of balance there. Plank jacks coming up. 10 seconds. Good. 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 What do we get there, Amy? Seven. Seven. Very look at that. Okay. Plank jacks. Here we go. Three, two, one. And let's get right to the plank jacks here. Right. So the lunges, they cut it close. They went towards that pretty much for that almost that full minute. But these next two, they kind of finish up a little bit early. So it bounces out. 15 to 20, adding in a couple more. So last time we got 17. So you're going to get 19 this time. 19. 19. Add two more. So over here, Byron may be throwing in an extra push up compared to what he did. He's been getting 20, but maybe throwing in an extra push up. 19. Does it bother you? 19. Does it bother you? It's so close to 20. It doesn't bother you. So just why not get one sure more? Did not. Sure. <laughs> 28 seconds. That would bother me. That would bother, bother you, right? Yeah. 19, not 20. Doesn't that bother you? I mean, that isn't that. That means unfazed. He's on face. Not He's not bothered by that at all. I've numbers don't bother. If I said 19 and a half, she would get 19 and a half. Sure will. 14 seconds. Good. 35. 35. Excellent. Excellent. Yeah. Nice. All right. V ups, folks. Here in seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and. Again, we have 5 to 10. 5 to 10. Again, turn this in. Get one more than we got last time. Or maybe we keep the same number but make it more challenging. Maybe bend the knees less, right? Maybe you have to need the legs straight for most of it. And if last time, let's say you bend the knees the whole time, maybe this time keep the legs straight for maybe two or three and then bend the knees. Maybe, maybe the same thing. You have 42 seconds if you had to wait for, if you didn't have to wait at all last time, maybe do the weights for a couple reps this time. Make sure you're lying down slowly, coming up evenly and lying down evenly. 32. Yeah, yeah, there you go. Good. Exhale, as you good control as you lie down. 24 seconds. Good, 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 good. 20 seconds. Wrap it up kind of soon. Wrap it up. But you can finish out your reps. Finish out your reps. The sprinter hops or lunges coming up next. How many is that? How many is that good? Okay. Good. 12. 12. Excellent. Oh, yeah, we'll, have to, we'll, make it, we'll make it more challenging next round. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's only third round. We'll make it more. Good. Here we go. Set up for your sprinter lunges here. Let's begin in 3, 2, 1. And let's go here. So it's like your back knee is straight. 
Leaning forward a little bit, don't round down too much, just lean forward. Tip, just fingertips on the ground there and push up just a couple inches. A little hop, just a couple inches hop there. There you go. Five to eight per leg. Yep, exactly, exactly. exactly. Again, if your knees don't like this, what you do here is you step back. Don't do the hop, step back. Lean forward, just let these two back knees straight. And then push forward, like you're doing a step up. Push forward, squeeze the glute. Step back, back knee straight, then push forward, squeeze the glute. Back, and then push forward, squeeze the glute. 30 seconds, 30 seconds. Push pull, come up next in 25 seconds. Twelve. Twelve. Each side. Each side. Twelve. Each side. Sweet. Okay. Yeah. Awesome. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, I definitely. I definitely need to increase these. You got more than me. Need to increase these. Look at this. Eight seconds. You got twelve. All right. Overhead push pull. Eight. Four. Three. Two. One. And let's begin. Okay, push pull. Man, you got those two walls. Let's the core here. Keep it close. You don't, you don't smack your face, of course, but keep it close to you. Push pull, push pull. Just knees soft, legs soft. Your body sort of bounces naturally as you push and pull. The momentum carries your weight up as you push it up. You're sort of flying up. Your body sort of comes up too. As you pull it down, your body comes down too. Right? So the whole body bounces up and down. Flex your core. Right? Let's make this more challenging. Increase the range, right? So it's not just right here. This is just right here. It's a little bit easier. So increase the range a little bit. We'll open out the two walls here. Bring it down. Doesn't have to be too wide. We're open out a little bit. Maybe a foot, a foot and a half. At least, at least the length of your dumbbell there. At least. Or two lengths of your dumbbell. 20 seconds. Good, good. Nice. Woo! Nice. Good. Here, here. Like 30 times before you have lost track. Okay. That 30 seconds. Okay. Let's increase this a little bit. This is good. This is good. I did 50. This is good. We're going to increase this. I did 40. Increase this for the folks. For the folks coming to the studio, you get to uh, we'll increase the reps here a little bit. Three, two. One and time. Good. Round three is done. Those two more rounds and then we're done. Good. Now, of course, for the uh, folks at home doing the video, if you find the rep range, just like the rep range, if it's too high, you can go lower. If it's too low, you can go higher. Increase it a little bit if you want to. So these two are just increasing it. That's always an option. Go for time as well. So sometimes you go for time because the range is too high, or sometimes you go for time because the range may be too low for you. So go for time. Increase, increase the duration for yourself. Lunges, fourth time, second to last time here in five, four, three, two, one, and it's again. Transverse lunges now in the set two. Final two rounds here. We're gonna start to approach that top number if we can. Start to approach that top number. Four to six for like these two with the lunges here, the transverse lunges, they are getting close to that full minute anyway, so they may just keep doing what they're doing. They may not add any more because we do want a little bit of transition time. The plank jacks are next. But they may, that's how they make it challenging. They'll keep that same number as the rounds go on. Normally your number may decrease a little bit as you get tired. It may take you longer to do that same number of reps. These two are going to try to do the same number in that same amount of time, even though they're getting more and more tired. Four to six per leg. They may have to start alternating just to keep it even. 23 seconds left. Maybe one or two more each leg. And maybe, maybe, maybe two more each leg. Give it, wrap it up. Give it a little rest. Plank jacks are next. Front foot stays pretty much still facing that 12 o'clock. The step, the foot you step with, the foot stays flat. Good timing. Good. How many you get Six. Good. Six. Fire. Eight. Eight. Good. Good timing. Here we go. Plank jacks in three, two, one. And that's good. Plank jacks. Now, with this one over here, last time he added more plank jacks. It's 15 to 20, but he added more. You can also just add more push ups if you prefer. If you like push ups, or just add more plank jacks. Or new jacks here, 15 to 20, and then hold it there for a little bit. You don't have to stop just because you finish your plank you jacks. Hold it there a little bit so you got the options to make it more challenging. Hold it there a little bit. And you can give me, you can give me 19.75 reps this time. 19.75. 19.75 reps. You have 33 seconds left. 19.75. I want a three fourths of that range of motion for that last one. I don't get there. 20. 20? Look at that, see? There we go. When, when it's within point, a quarter of a rep, she rounds up. 20 <laughs> seconds left. Get a beat up, Sam. Get a beat up, Sam. Get a beat up, I did. You got lots, you got lots, I can tell you I did. <laughs> yeah, I did four sets of seven, but then I did a yes. double push-up. Oh, okay. Okay, there you go. Yeah, see you. Nice. Let's try again. Six, five, four, three, two, one, and begin. Yes, yes. Whew. Yes, now. Okay, let's make it more challenging. All right, so what we'll do is hollow holds. I got a heavier weight. Hey, go ahead. Hollow? You need hollow holds, so shoulders up and legs up. So never put your feet down, never put your shoulders up. Okay. Everything else is the same. Oh, keep it on. Okay. And don't lie completely down. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you keep your shoulders up. Yeah, keep it, bring the torso up. Even yeah. 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 Yeah.
bench, you bring your legs down too, just like you bring your back down, bring your legs down too. If your legs stay up, your torso can't come back up. Oh yeah, that's hard. Yeah, that's awesome. We made it more challenging. He has a heavy weight, but we also are not allowing his feet to go all the way down. His shoulders never go all the way down. He's going to a hollow hole at the bottom here. 19 seconds. Give me one more, one more before you come back. One more, one more, Emmy. Hurry up, quickly, quickly, you're running out of time. 12 seconds. Good, good, that's it. You're good. Good. Swim to your hops. Five to eight per side. Four lunges. Here we go. Five, four, three, two, one, and let's begin. Transition, good transition. That's what you can do. That's what the last two rounds look like. Almost back to back, almost back to back. Not much rest time in between, just transition time. We don't need as much rest time. Five to eight per side. Again, I'll show you the version here without the hops. We don't want to hop. Step back, back knee straight, lean forward, and push forward, squeeze that glute. 42, it's five to eight per side, five to eight per side. Starting to approach that top number if we can. Starting to approach that top number if we can. Starting to approach that top number if we can. We have 30 seconds left. Five to eight. Nice, nice. Nine. Nine, look at that. 24 seconds, good. Get time, get time, oh. this time. It doesn't bother you to have all this extra rest time. It doesn't bother you. It doesn't bother you. Oh. 15 seconds. Overhead push pull, folks. Overhead push pull here. So, I mean, what we do is we're going to increase the range a little bit. So, increase the range a little bit. Maybe we can't wait if you want to. Here we go. Five, four, three, two, one, and let's begin. Flex the abs here. If your midsection is too, is too relaxed, if your abdomen is too relaxed, you're going to start to arch back a little too much. Good so case down. Flex the abs. Body, the rest of your body is kind of loose because your body sort of needs to naturally bounce up and down, right? You're going to come up onto your tippy toes a little bit because you're pushing up. Imagine you're punching up really fast. It's going to sort of bring your body up. Imagine you're pulling down really fast. Your body sort of bounces down. So bouncing, bouncing up and down. Bouncing between those two walls. Wall here, wall here. Not, not here. Open down those walls a little bit. Bounce between the two walls like a bouncy ball. 34 seconds, flex your core. And naturally, the body bounces up and down as you push and pull. Really fast. 28 seconds. Keep going. If you're going for time, keep going there. If you're going for time, get 36. Very nice. Look at that. 14 oh. seconds, little rest. We got one more round, and we're done, folks. One more round, and we're done. Five minutes, and we're done. One through five. Oh. Final time. Let's approach that top number. Seven seconds. Go oh, no, uh, until we're done here. We got a 30 second break again. Here we go. Three, two, oh. one, and done with that round, oh. folks. Final round here. 30 second break. A little water. Oh. Stretch it out. Shoulder rolls. Arm circles. How are we feeling? Final round. Final round, folks. Transverse Ooh. lunges, approaching that top number here. So we're in 18 seconds. So these two may be aiming for six if they can. And then right into that plank jack. The final round is going to start to look almost like back to back to back to back. And just enough time to transition. Barely enough time to transition. Transverse lunges, aiming for six. Four, three, two, one, and let's begin. Just like other lunges, let the, just like side lunge, for example. Let the legs do the work. So once your leg stops lunging down, that's when you stop. You don't need to touch the floor. You don't need to lean forward anymore. Once your leg stops moving, any more, any more movement with the torso is just you using your lower back. Just let the legs lean forward naturally as you lunge. Make sure that lunging foot, that front foot stays flat. The one that goes to four and eight, that foot stays flat. 28 seconds left. We're almost done with the workout, so we don't need as much rest time. We can start to string them back to back to back a little bit more. Aiming for six, aiming for six. Come on, keep breathing. 19 seconds, aiming for six. When you're done with this, put the weight down, plank jacks after this. Easy transition. 15 seconds left. Good, got six, 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 eight, 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 eight,
two, one, and let's begin. The knee seven, and then you can three more with the knees bending as you come up. Do the last time as you come down. Let the legs come down too, yeah. so then they can come up too. That way, when it comes down evenly, that way it helps you to come up. Yeah, so let the legs come down too. Just like the back comes down, let the legs go down too. If the legs stay up, the back doesn't have a chance to come back up. If your legs are already up there. It's hard to come up if your legs are already up. 40 seconds. Can't come as, as high as you need to. Remember, 10 and 2. 10 and 2. 35 seconds. Good. Good. 30 seconds. Exactly, exactly. Exactly. 25 seconds. Oh. Nice, nice. 22. We have the sprinter pops coming up. And then, we're, and, then, and then after that, one more, then we're done. There you go, folks. 17 seconds. They're going to set themselves up here. Back knee straight. Lean forward. Don't round forward. Lean forward. Belly tapping onto your thigh there. Good. Keep your dips touching down. Here we go. Just a small hop. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and let's begin. Aiming for eight. Aiming for eight. Aiming for eight. Actually, I mean, last time we got 12. Same thing. 12 again. 12 again. I like it. 12 is a good number. Good. Good. Push the leg. Back knee straight. Leaning forward just a little bit. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, take your time, take your time, take your time. You just have one more movement after this and you're done, don't worry about the time. Go ahead, 43 seconds, exactly, exactly. Good, 38 seconds, folks. Little hop, back knee straight. Good, just a small little hop there. Good, 30 seconds. Nice, 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 good. Keep going, keep going. Just got a couple more. Good. Nice. 15, 15 slight. Oh, look at that, fantastic, look at that, look at that, 20 seconds. Oh, nice, nice. How much do you have here? 12? 12? Look at that. He got 15 just because he wanted to be the beach. Why? He just wanted to beat you 12. 12 seconds. Overhead push, overhead push pull, overhead push pull here, folks. Overhead push pull. Final time. Now these two are going to go for the same number they got last time. Maybe add a few more, or you just go for time if you want to. 3, 2, 1. And again, keep it close. Flex your abs. Push pull, push pull. Bounce between the two walls. Your torso naturally bounces up and down. As you do, we got 55 seconds left. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Whole body bounces up and down. Don't lean back too much. Flex your abs, keep the rib cage down. Don't lean back. You got 44 seconds left. Really, really good. Really good. You got 50 here, maybe 60. Over here, you got 40 last time. Go 50, go 50. 50, 60. Here we go. 33 seconds left. Good, good. Or go for time. Go for time. You want to slow down, go for time. You can. 29 seconds. It may take you this time to get to the end. Go for time. Good, good. Open out the walls a little bit. Open out the walls a little bit. There we go. Open out the walls a little bit. Open out the walls a little bit. 20 seconds. Good, good, good. Here we go. 18. 18. Good. Keep going, folks. Keep going. 14. There we go. There we go. There we go. You got 10 seconds left, folks. There we go. 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and time. Fantastic. Fantastic. Look at that. Look at that. All right. Hooks and all. Good for these two. Emmy Byron, great job. Thank you. Folks at home, thank you for joining us. Happy um, Tuesday. Enjoy the rest of your day. We'll see you tomorrow. Take care. Whew.